but it's so cute and little. So the cute and little version just makes me happy. Hey guys, welcome back. So got another one of my top five for y'all today and today is going to be blushes. And as always, this was difficult to narrow down, but I think I've done a pretty good job. I do have an honorable mention because I had a lot of trouble choosing between two. So I narrowly selected one, but then I have a little side honorable mention that I'll explain in a minute. So let's get to it. And by in a minute, I mean right now. <laughs> because we're starting with these. So the one that I picked in my top five is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Grapefruit. I love her Blush and Brightens. So really, I probably could have picked any of them because I think they're all amazing. This one is like, I don't know, a warm, like sun-kissed sort of a neutral. It is amazing. I love it so much. This is the one that I'm wearing today. These blend like a dream into the skin. They have like a little bit of a subtle sheen to them, so they just look beautiful on the skin. Like all of them, all of the blush and brightens that I've tried from her line have been amazing and they all do that. They all blend beautifully. They all just have that really pretty look on the cheeks. So that's the one that I picked in my top five, but the honorable mention is Tropic Hues. I also love pink buttercream and I love cherry truffle, and they're all just really great. So anyway, Drama Cues was a very, very close sixth favorite blush. This one is more of a like pinky peach sort of a shade. So it's on the bottom there. Really, really beautiful. So either one I think you would love. Isn't this little baby one so cute? I don't remember where I got this. I think I got it in maybe an Ipsy bag or something like that, which I was super excited about that, but it's so cute and little. So the cute and little version just makes me happy, but I love the blush inside too. Next I picked one of the MAC Mineralized blushes. This is just a wisp, and this is like stinking Barbie blush. I mean, it really is, and I stinking love it. I stinking love the stinking Barbie blush. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it's funny, it really doesn't follow the pattern of the other ones that I have here. All the other ones are very like neutral, everyday, go with everything sort of blush colors. And this one is not that at all. <laughs> it's very much Barbie blush. It's very like sweet and princess and angelic and very light, very pink, very cool toned but I just love it so much. Like every time I think about blushes that I have in my collection that I just enjoy wearing, this is always one that I think of. I don't really know why. It just, it feels special and it feels pretty and girly. And of course, this is not gonna be for everyone. Some people are gonna look at this and go, I hate that, <laughs> but I love it. I really do love it. And I would think like as a blush, it would be best suited for like porcelain to light skin tones, but for a highlight, because it really is, I mean, it's like a blush highlight, um, I think it would work for a lot more skin tones. So I think it's, you know, kind of like for a blush, like wearing it, you know, lower on the cheeks, I would say porcelain to light skin tones. But as a highlight, I think it would work for more people. But you have to like a cool tone pinky highlight because it's very much that. But it's just so girly and sweet. I love it. And a very high-end favorite. This is Chanel's Jersey. But I do feel like this is one of those blushes that if you did purchase it, I think you'd get a lot of use out of it because it's very, very neutral and it just goes with everything. I mean, it is a blush that you could just literally leave it out on your vanity and pretty much wear it with any makeup look that you would come up with. So I think you'd get a lot of use out of it if you did get it. Now, it's pretty much just a brown blush. <laughs> Not super exciting. Not super like, ooh, that's so pretty looking in the pan, but like I said, you're just, you know, you, you'll probably just get a lot of use out of it. I get a lot of use out of it. I wear it a lot. When I'm doing makeup looks, this is just one that I'm like, well, okay, I have this elaborate eye look. What do I do with it? Chanel's jersey is going to go because it's just a brown sort of a blush. I mean, it really is, but it has a little bit of like a rosy tone to it. So it makes it look less like a bronzer and more like a blush. But on those days where you're maybe a little bit more rushed, you could skip bronzer. So 
it's just easy. It just works. It just goes. And I love it. It feels fancy. It is fancy because it's expensive. So the price point is probably the thing that I would say is a negative about it. But I do love this blush and feel like you would get a lot of use out of it. And good old Benefits Rockateur. I tell you, she and I have been through a lot of tutorials together. <laughs> I feel like I've used this in so many tutorials because it's, again, just one that goes. It just goes. I do love the packaging, the look of the packaging, but it is bulky. So that's kind of a negative, the bulkiness of the packaging. But the look of it is really pretty. So this one, again, is very neutral, very go with everything. But this one is um, a little bit warmer than like Jersey is. So a little bit warmer and has a little bit of a glow to it. It's not shimmery, but I would say it's kind of um, sort of a satin sort of a finish to it. Just a little bit of a sheen, which looks really beautiful on the cheeks. And again, this is one of those like easy, put it on your cheeks, run out the door. Like, I feel like these sort of colors, you really can skip a bronzer if you want to, because it's sort of like, just if you wear it, you know, in this sort of region, it does give that sort of dimension to your face. So yeah, it's just beautiful. Love it. I mean, if you've watched any of my tutorials, you've probably seen Rockateur numerous times. Lastly is a really inexpensive but great blush. This is Wet n Wild's Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. This is so good and it's like $3. I think it's $3, which is awesome because I would buy this and love this for $20, but I love it even more because it's $3. Like that just makes it even better. So when I first bought this blush and first swatched it, I thought, I don't know if this is gonna work for me because at first pass, it looks almost like a highlighter, but when you build it up, which is how I wear it on my cheeks, it is just a gorgeous, very neutral sort of a color and it's lighter than the others. The, the others pretty much, except for just a wisp, are very neutral, but they're darker than this one is. This one is lighter, so I love to wear this with like a really dramatic makeup look or a really dark smoky eye where I need some color on my cheeks but I don't want it to detract and I need it to be very, very subtle. This is what I go for, so it's awesome. I mean, I have no negatives to say about this. It blends into the skin beautifully. It wears just as well as this Chanel blush, which is like $45, this is $3. I find that this wears just as well, and I think it's beautiful, I think it's amazing, and I love that it's so affordable and so amazing. All right guys, so that wraps up my top five blushes. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what your top five blushes would be. I always love hearing your thoughts and your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!